Grid mode has two options in Pro Tools, Absolute Grid and Relative Grid. The default mode is Absolute Grid, which is highlighted in blue. When you're in Absolute Grid mode and you move a clip on a track's playlist, it will always snap to the closest grid interval, even if it was originally offset from the grid. The other option is Relative Grid, which is highlighted in purple. With this setting enabled, a clip that's offset from the grid will maintain this offset when you move it. This is really helpful if you have a clip that has a pickup note just before the downbeat. Another grid option in Pro Tools is called Snap to Grid. This is enabled anytime you select an edit mode and then hold down the Shift key and click on the grid mode. This allows you to both make selections and move clips using the grid boundaries. Shuffle Grid, in particular, is especially useful when you want to add or delete precise selections. Here you can see that I've selected exactly one bar of the clip, and because I'm in shuffle mode, when I delete the selection, the subsequent clips on the track will shuffle to the left to fill in the gap. To configure the grid, you can click on the Grid Value pop-up selector in the Edit Window toolbar. Here you can choose a time scale, and then click on the pop-up menu once again to set the grid value. At the bottom of the pop-up menu, you'll see the Follow Main Timescale selection. When this option is enabled, the grid's timescale will automatically change to match the main time base ruler. To display or hide grid lines, simply click on the grid indicator. When it's lit up green, the grid lines are visible.